Hey everyone, welcome to this short video discussing your district office SharePoint folder. This folder will allow you to share Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PDFs, video files, folders, pretty much any digital file that you have access to. If you need to collaborate or edit a file with your office staff, share content of a folder with an outside agency that maybe you can't email them the content, consider using your district SharePoint site. The beautiful part about this folder is it resides in the cloud and can be accessed from anywhere you have a computer and an internet connection. All you want to do is go to the site. The website address is portal.office.com and once you sign into your account, the upper left hand corner Click App Launcher, then left click the SharePoint link. From here, if you have followed the site, it should be listed in your navigation on the left, such as a site that you are following, as well as you can also see recent and featured links. Simply click, I'm going to click right here, Frequent Sites, I'm going to click right here in the badge, and Make sure that you do follow if you are not already following the site. This will put the shortcut in your OneDrive on the web. So make sure in the upper right hand corner that is selected and shows following. And the current site looks a little clunky I'm sure. And then navigation, click the documents link. After you do that, be a little more visible, a little more appealing with simply folders and files as you can see. Now from here, once again, to use this site, the primary purpose is if you're needing to collaborate, edit, modify, share information with your entire district, this will be the place where you have access to do that. This also would be an area where if your recipient does not need a copy, but they do actually need to work on a file with you so that they can modify it, make changes, etc. And kind of goes along in the same lines as your OneDrive. However, this is district wide. Anything you upload and place here will immediately be made available to those who are part of, in this case, District 21. So anything I do upload will be immediately accessible. In the case of, say, this travel info folder, anything I do place here will immediately be available to everyone who's a part of the group. And if you have a need to share this information, maybe with an external agency, all you have to do, click the ellipsis, and you can simply click share. This will be where you'll want to make any changes to maybe tighten the security. In this case, this would only be accessible to people within the TN District Attorney's uh, organization. You could apply this setting specifically for the folder and simply type in the name, group, or email address of your recipient who also needs access to, say, the travel info folder. In the more settings area, you can simply click the drop down to where the recipient could edit. And you can also block downloading so that they will have read only or view only access to the folder. Well, thanks for watching this video regarding the district wide SharePoint folder. Have a great day.